here is my Lego Technic auto rewinding clock. So you can see we've got three hands here. Second hour and minute. A pendulum down here with a linear actuator for fine adjustment. Got some random panels here because I don't have a straight shot for the weight to go down here. And then, using an escapement that I found in a different YouTube video, but with some modifications for better reliability and strength. So then, up here, I've got a Power Functions large motor running a worm gear. Goes up the top and runs the at black 22 skier, which runs the new differential. That's for the auto rewind because the weight, this water bottle, is hooked up to that winch. So normally it transfers drive through the bevel gears of the differential to run those double, double bevel gears in the middle and then this chain and the 42 skier, which is the one the escapement works on. So the idea for the auto rewind is that when the water bottle that is the weight gets to the bottom, this string tied to it t pulls the switch down to start the rewinding like that. And then when it gets all the way to the top, we've got another string that runs down around this little pulley, then runs up over another pulley, and then pulls it back up. So you can see that in a second. flipped itself off and is still running. So based on that you can get a theoretically infinite run time except for the fact that my power functions battery will turn off after a few hours just like they normally do so I'd have to plug it in or use my uh, transformer setup. So the accuracy of the clock I've tried doing a bunch of fine-tuning but it just doesn't seem consistent so it's close to real time right now, but I think it would get off pretty quickly. So now I'm going to um, set it up so you can watch the auto rewind start automatically. So now I've got the weight down here. Better untangle that a little. Um, so it's getting close to pulling this lever down. I'll start the pendulum. And hopefully soon the auto rewind will start. So that's the switch. So let me watch this. See the switch moving just a little. And there it's engaged. I find that the pendulum speeds up when it's rewinding, which is going to make the clock run fast, which is unfortunate. Then, watch it automatically turn off. And continue running. I don't really have enough parts or space to keep this clock built for any long period of time, so accuracy isn't really my focus here, but I'm happy with the reliability of it and the enjoyable automatic rewind function, as well as getting three hands in here. So the building experience is fun. The accuracy is a little bit disappointing though. Overall though, I had a fun time with this.